Party time, ladies and gentlemen. Throwing chairs. It's a chair party. This week, uh, this week we're doing the chairquisition about skeleton dance party. If you don't know what the chairquisition is, it's where we take a game. We tell you if it launches, if it performs, how the graphics are, how the controls are, and if it's if it's fun or not. And we we give some scores based on lawn chairs. You can you can see the breakdown. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this week, uh, like I said, skele da skeletal dance party by Kent Games. Skeletal dance party. Nah, <laughs> see that would that would make this game awesome if it was skeletal dance party, right? Am I right, Frank? Back me up. Nah. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's done by uh, Cantaloupe Games. It's done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about uh, eight ninety nine of your local particular currency. What is it? Necromancers, paladins, skeletals, monsters. Oh my, you play as Riva, a young fox-eared necromancer who embarks on a quest to host an awesome dance party for all her friends, who happen to be the reanimated skeletons of her enemies. Uh, the devs did send us some uh, keys over Curator Connect, so we gotta give them a big ol' thank you for that. And let's get started on Ubuntu. How did it work then? Oh man, over here on the 1804 box of business, Ryzen, you know it, you love it, 16 gigajoules of RAM, SSDs, NVMEs, all that fun stuff, with a brand shiny new short bus video card, the 2060, um, no issues, everything ran, I mean, no problem, uh, it did turn into a zombie process on me one time, however, uh, I couldn't repeat it, so I played it at UHD 3040 no issues. Uh, I'll agree with Pedro. Slow ass load time, but nothing to knock it. What's it look like? It's Minecraft with Vaseline smeared on the lens. Also voxels as a thing. You can technically use a controller with this game. I don't suggest it. Uh, Wazd is your best friend here, and everything eventually works. Clean bill of health, man. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 2864-bit with the i7-6700K GTX 1080 Ti, it launches, and it holds a solid 60 at 1080. Uh, I will say, though, due to the lack of font scaling at UHD, I could not read what the fuck was going on, and so I had to play it at 1080. Um, Graphics-wise, I mean, yeah, it's voxels. It looks like voxels. Which is it voxels or is it faux voxels? I, th I, th I think it's actually voxels. Um mm. But um, I mean, it's it, on, a, on you can do good looking voxel stuff. This is not one of those times. Uh, but I mean, it still shows up on screen. Um, yeah, uh, the control wise standard was fair. Uh, it doesn't like my scroll wheel though. I have to scroll really, really hard for it to cycle through the undead dudes. And oh man, I am not a fan of the, the camera in this game at all. Uh, no, sir. But again, it all works. So I'll give it a clean bro the health of. Uh, on my end, it, uh, well, it launches and remembers settings, which I guess it's something to say for a Unity game since last week. But uh, the odd thing, at least on my end, is when it came to the performance. Some conversations while you're in the hub and you're in the latter levels and you have most of the, uh, the characters in, um, in the little hub area... Uh, some conversations that you have with the little demi lich dude, uh, they just slow down to the point where like one single character shows up every second and I have to all tab out of the game and back in for it to just skip the conversation and let me continue playing. Uh, also, during the load times, it uses exactly one core uh, to do the random level generation and it takes for fucking ever. Uh and uh yeah at uhd if you have a lot of skeleton dudes in some parts of the uh, of the level it the ferps drop down to about 40 so it does hold 60 most of the time but yeah they drop down to 40 if you're uh in a particularly eh, graphically intensive area of the level the graphics for themselves are like proto Minecraft style thing, like Smith and Winston, uh, Smith and Winston that we talked about last week. Uh, there's also an issue with the force fields, at least on my end, where there seems to be some Z fighting between the transparency layer and some other purple texture. Uh, the music can get a bit repetitive if you're going at a slower pace through the level, but it works, and I'm pretty sure I've heard the voice actress for Riva, the main character, somewhere. Probably uh, Dust and Elysian Tail. Uh, and the controls, the default controller bindings are weird because, yeah, you spin the camera around with the D-pad and you move the cursor with the right analog stick. You what? 
But that's that's easy enough to change, so I'm not going to ding it a chair for that, though I will ding them a chair for the performance issue, so it gets three from me. Oh, yeah, no, those load times are atrocious. I think they're, like, they're knocking on a minute, because I remember sitting there, like... It takes oh. a while. <laughs> it does, it does, and it does not care. And I was running this off the NVMe drive, too. Oh, I was yeah. just like, does that, yep. does that help? No, it doesn't. <laughs> nope. No, it don't. <laughs> all right, all right, so there, there you go. How about, how about the fun, though, Ben? You enjoy, do you enjoy yourself? This is the part, this is where we get opinions and we just explain to you whether or not it worked between Kumbuntu, Fedora, and Solus. Let me tell you my experience with Skeletor Dance Crypt Party. <laughs> As we've all said, the controls for this game are atrocious. However, they might only suck just a little bit. They might not actually be atrocious, but it's hard to tell with your minions constantly dry humping you. But this is a physics game, and... I've definitely been playing for over an hour uh, when it wasn't a zombie process, uh, and it turns out, you know, I can move shite around, but I've yet to find a reason really to do it. It's not really clear to me from what I can resurrect, you know, what's dead or what I need to regain that ability, because sometimes you just can't bring the happy, fun, dancing skeletons back. That's the thing. Zero fucking idea what exactly triggers picking up items in this game or whether or not uh, I need them. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. This is all down to my stupidity, but... Um, just kind of work with me here. Speaking of voice direction, the fuck was given to that sweet lass doing the main character? <laughs> your little witch. I mean, did they, they did they open the booth and they look at her like my TD will look at me and go, okay, uh, I want sensual, frightened young girl with just a hint of weeb. Do, do you think you can do that? Because <laughs> that's, that's what you fucking delivered. That's how it came across, Brad. It did. Um, the skeleton voice. Tried to be humorous, uh, that guy, he was passable. Uh, I should say the voiced lines by that particular person was passable because it kind of starts off you're like, oh, this part's going to be completely voiced. And it's like, yeah, not so much. You kind of got to play along, read between the lines with that. By the time I reached the first Templar, I'd kind of already nerfed the oons oons wub wub in the background, which wasn't bad. It was kind of repetitive. Replaced it with something a bit more appropriate. For this game, some crash test dummies. Um, after derping around some more, it kind of became clear that all the crypts that you're seeing here in the video, audio listeners, it's crypts, neon crypts with dancing skeletons. They're kind of rehashes of the same thing in different orders. Uh, it does try to be cute. It does try to be clever. Hell, it even tries to be a physics, physics game built with the Unity engine. But at the end of the day, um, it's kind of just something to fuck around with for like... 30 minutes because hey man it's got dancing skeletons what's not to love about that well uh it didn't do it for me so one one womp womp yeah i mean it sort of plays like a single player moba and when i when i was writing when i was writing my spiel for it it was like actually you know what this really reminds me of necro almost um because it's the same sort of thing where you kill monsters and you raise them from the dead and you have them fall around you have your creeps fall around you and then you sort of just direct them and you have a couple attacks that you can do and a couple support spells but for the most part you accumulate your gaggle of skeletons uh and then just sort of wade them into your enemies and hope that you can do more damage to them than they can do to you um uh and then sometimes they get stuck on stuff mostly you uh that's that's mm -hmm. what i found is they they, they kept they the stupidest decision in here was having the skeletons actually block your way as the player because then you just get trapped and murdered in a couple of cases. Um, Listen, man, it's but, leg hump, leg hump revolution. Hump, 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 hump revolution. Um, but yeah, um, and yeah, like I, so I, I read Pedro Stick later on about uh, inventory management. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna give that a shot. The inventory system in this game is fucking atrocious. My God, yes. um, it's. You're you're better off just kind of like doing the crapshoot, and then just there's enough skeletons and dead things in the in the dungeon that you never really have to worry about it. You just have to make sure that you have more numbers than your opponent. Um, and uh, yeah, the cr the crowning jewel for me is the camera because you're so you're aiming with the mouse, you're directing things with the mouse, um. And now you're also having you're you're doing unit selection with the mouse, and then you're also using the you're use, using the click down scroll wheel to move the camera around, and that just gets that's just too crowded. They needed to find a better way of handling camera control. Um, mind you, mind you, it's leagues better than what they have on like if you're trying to use an actual controller, because mm -hmm. then that's just not playable. Isn't that a fun experience of really? 
It, ha it has the tr <laughs> trine problem where I was stuck playing the fucking wizard for trying to, and I was trying to use the controller, and you need to like aim and like move stuff around. And this is like the worst parts of that, just as the telekinesis mechanic here. Um, the writing really didn't do anything for me. I, I tried to read through the dialogue, and it, I, I just couldn't. Um, after a while, I, I uh, axed the main soundtrack and started listening to uh, Terminal Redux by Vector, because that's just a really good album. And then eventually, one of the dungeons gl glitched and didn't lower a door after I killed everyone and accomplished the objective to get to the next objective, and then I gave up. I can, there, there's some okay ideas in this game, and like it ultimately, it's harmless, but... It needs a lot more polish, I think. Um, if this was a, if, as as a first attempt, I can see this being like okay. I'd, I'd be interested to see what comes out of this developer um, as like a second or third attempt. But I, I I can't do it for this game. Gotta gotta give it a chair, just a lonely single chair. Yeah, it's brutal legend without the awesome soundtrack. But in losing the soundtrack, I feel like it wins in not ham fisting the RTS bits down your uh, throat. And this is the bit where I started to run into that dialogue issue. I actually got video of it. See? See how slow the text is showing up? Yeah, when it skips the text, that's when I all tabbed out of the game. Uh, the only strategy here is to basically carefully pick the equipment that your character has and what your skeletons use. Basically, just have whichever skeleton happens to prefer melee weapons, just get them to the biggest sword or the biggest axe you can find in the level. Or if it's a wizard, get them a staff. Or if it's one of the bards, make sure they have the loot. That's it. That's all you need to worry about. The hats, they seem to be a bit more random. It's whatever they feel like at the time. That loading screen is going to take a little while. Uh, if you have a full roster from all the skeletons you can summon and all of the demiliches slash pumpkins that you can summon from the dead uh, NPCs, then basically you can just steamroll your way past the level and anything that shows up in your way just gets drowned immediately. Uh, the real difficulty is uh, in guiding your character and her army of flailing skeletons through the level. The AI on those skeletons often gets caught in the scenery, each other, and your character. Uh, even at the best of times, this isn't. This is a game that will not blow your mind. Uh, but as a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, it's not bad at all. I, if it weren't for the performance issues. I would be totally okay with giving this one three chairs just because you can completely shut down your brain and just play it. And yeah, but the performance issues are very much there, so two chairs for me. All right, well, I mean, it, the the, the, the game, the game is gifted. certainly rough Damn around it. the edges. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it, it, yes it, it is. The loading it, it, screen it, it, is still going for those audio listeners out there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no. Like it, it doesn't help if you've gone to that level before either. It just will. It will take like a minute. Yeah, it's well. really... Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do, do we got anything else? We any any cherries we want to put on top of this Sunday day? Before we... uh, it wasn't offensive. I mean, it was a good. Uh, for thirty minutes, it's entertaining. Uh, you know, it's like, oh look, the skeletons and they're dancing. But why are they your opponents dancing? And it it, it tries. It tried. I'll give it that. It's it's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, and in that I'm willing to excuse it a lot of things, but the, that those performance issues need to be fixed. Yes. Also, you know, AI pathfinding and you know general yeah. quality. <laughs>